Hey everybody, Aaron here, and welcome back to another anime request review. Today, I was requested to do a review for From the New World from Chris MC, so I appreciate it, man. Hopefully, you like the review. So, From the New World is a very odd, odd show. I'm going to say that right off the bat. This is probably very similar to reminds me of stuff like Paranoia Agent or Boogie Bob Phantom, in the sense that it's just so out there and outlandish sometimes that you're just left wondering what's going on and... You know, the, half the show is like a mystery and half the, the show is supernatural, drama. It's just, it's everywhere. It's, and that's a good thing in a lot of ways. It's good. It's a little bad sometimes, but this show is very unique. I'll give that to you right off the bat. It's a very unique show. So this is actually based off a novel series that came out from the New World. It was um a novel that was written way, way back, I think, in uh, 2008, around that. Yeah, 2008. And became an anime in 2012. Now, the main story, before I start off the characters, is interesting. Where you actually start the, sh the anime off, and you, it's not a spoiler, but you start the anime off and you see uh, regular Tokyo, like regular Japan. There's nothing really per se different about it. But what you see is someone making a car essentially explode, and then you see other people exploding. It's like just blood mist. It's it's crazy. It's very violent and visceral, like this whole show is going to be at one point. Um, and then you find out that there's a big time skip where... Centuries have gone by and Japan has basically changed completely. Maybe the world, but all you know is about is of Japan and how it's changed dramatically to the point that it's almost like the Edo period or the feudal time period where they actually are living back in huts. They have, you know, schools that are made of like, you know, regular building material that's not from like cement or concrete or things like that. It's crazy. Now, the story is told from Saki Watanabe's perspective. She's a young girl. And you see, as the show progresses, her age. So, at the beginning, she's a young kid. And then she becomes a teenager and then becomes an adult. Now, the whole thing is about Class 1, essentially. Class 1 is a group of students in a school in this little town. Where they are actually controlled in the sense that everyone there has to learn how to use their powers. Because everyone now has psychic powers, essentially. But they must be maintained and controlled using various means that the community doesn't tell the kids at first but as she gets older and as she starts maturing she learns a lot about the world and also what really just happened that caused the kind of downgrade to humanity what's what had how the huge impact of getting psychic powers destroyed the world essentially now what's really cool about the show is that there are many characters in this like i mean you have saki as, as of course the main character you have satoru who's the quote-unquote kid that knows the most psychic powers you have shun who's kind of the comic relief of essentially the beginning but then actually shows off being very mature and then you got maria who is i want to say in love with saki because the show by the way i'm gonna say it right now does have some homosexual tendencies at one point they're not very pronounced like i don't want to say there's anything that's really bad but it's understandable in the story why they do that because one of the main concepts, and this is kind of a spoiler a little bit, but the town controlling all the kids and controlling the teenagers and everything leads them to also control who they pair up with. So they pair people up from certain time periods with certain people just because they're compatible with each other, not because of love or not because of you know what they are, if they're boy or girl. They do it because they want to control them as much as they can. And that's the creepy part of the show is... is the limitations of, of humanity, what they want to do to make sure that what happened in the past doesn't reappear. You start learning that there are creatures that exist that are byproducts of humanity changing and, and messing with DNA and all this stuff like that. And it's just, this show is a wild ride of just crazy, crazy stuff. I mean, I was blown away by how much this show changes. And it's not in a change of that you don't understand fully what's going on at one point, but when you're watching the show, it's very hard to take a grasp of what actually is happening because a lot of times things are just so outlandish that it's almost like you have to actually write down what exactly is happening in the show. And that is an issue with the show. That's the only reason I can I say that this show takes a little bit hit in the grade-wise is because sometimes the show is a little bit too outlandish. Sometimes it, its craziness is a little bit like, well, I, I wish they would tone back certain things of it, certain elements of it. Now, I don't want to say that's a bad thing per se, but I just think that the the kind of crazy mystery and supernatural concepts went so far at times that you almost were left with, like, what is actually happening in this story? 
And I, I remember a few times I was losing interest in w- especially one arc where I just was like, what? I don't understand anything that's going on. I, I understand, like, the basic story you'll understand. Don't get me wrong. It's not that hard to understand the basic concept of it. But it's more so if you're one of those people that likes reading into a lot of it, you know, wanting to know every little detail of why everyone has these turn- certain types of powers and what's exactly going on, this show tends to try to fool you and tries to manipulate you almost as much as the town does with the, the students and all that. And I, I know they're going for that on purpose, but it's also something that I know story-wise can be an issue with some people. I mean, especially me. I, I have an issue when I don't understand a story fully, not because it's it's per se a mystery story. Mystery stories are just always supposed to leave you with that kind of, you know, trying to figure out and deduce everything that's going on. But in a show like this, it's not just per se that element that's causing the uh, confusion. It's more so other story elements that could have been better explained as the story went on. Also, I, I think that the animation for the show is actually very good. I, I like the animation for it, but I, I think at some times what really should have been done better is maybe the animation for the characters themselves. I don't think they always looked that great. I think the as they got older, their character designs were a lot better, but in the beginning, you know, up to the teen years, they're not that great looking, and that was one of the biggest issues I had with it. When they get to adults, they actually look really cool. They actually fit their characters' voices and stuff like that. And that's another thing. The voice acting... Is very good. That's it's probably one of the best things about the show. But at times, also you know when characters are trying to strain the childish voice. Like for example, um, Shun, or yeah, Shun for example is perfect as a teenager and adult. But when he's a kid, he sounds so odd. It's like he's trying to sound like a kid. Same thing with Satoru, who his voice also when he starts as a kid, he sounds like he's trying to really go for like that kid voice, and it's like yeah, it hits sometimes, and it sometimes just sounds ridiculous. But overall, though, I'll tell you guys, this was a crazy show. You know, I I really dig the kind of concepts with it. I I think that even the way they handled the kind of, you know, questionable concepts. Like, I know, don't get me wrong. I have no issues with the homosexuality type concept in anime. It's not that. I I think the way they handled it was perfect because it's not per se done in a raunchy way. It's done in a way that it's understandable in the story and it's also kind of just a little bit creepy in the way they did it because you also know that they're being manipulated the whole time and that really is one of the best things about the show is the creep factor of how far they're being manipulated you always have to try to figure out that concept like when they at one point lose memories of certain things and you you're not fully aware of that that's awesome I, I was trying to figure out like wait am I going crazy or is the show making me go crazy that was cool I really I've never seen an anime that did that like it plays with it plays with the viewer just as much as the people in the actual story and you can clearly tell this was a novel at one time because of that concept. Uh, the ending of the show is not that bad. I like the ending. I think everything was wrapped up a little too fast for my taste. That's also another issue I have with it. But I liked also how it ended. I think that was really nice. And I think that it, it could have been done a little bit better. But it's not that bad. It's not a big of a deal. So if I had to give this anime review A through F, I have to give it a solid B. Solid B. I know, you know, it, it sounds like it should be a little higher. But I think that, the again, the animation... The voice acting at times and sometimes how crazy the story is sometimes is what maybe kind of drop it to a B. But I'll tell you guys right now, don't get me wrong, definitely watch the show. It's something that at least give it a few episodes because I think it does some awesome stuff with animation concepts in, in the sense that it's so unique. And, and, and I, I don't mean per se in the animation. The animation is not that unique, but I'm saying the storyline is so unique that it's something you don't see too often. I like that. I actually miss anime that tries to, you know, break the molds of the common tropes that we have set in anime. Uh, anyways, though, again, Chris MC, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate the, the uh, request. Uh, you guys keep giving me more requests. Um, I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you do give me more requests, though, expect them in mid-February, uh, only because I'm really kind of busy with the um, some of the other ones I have set up and I, other reviews I have to do. And also, because the beginning of February is going to be school year, it's going to be very hard for me to just kind of watch anime constantly like I am right now. But if you, but feel free, guys. Put in the comments below anything you want me to request or review, and I'll do it. If I've already done it, I'll tell you guys where to look in my videos, because I did actually try to make them really organized. So, they, you know, I have actual anime folders uh, for you guys, so you can actually see my 1 to 50, and then I think 51 to 100. So, I mean, it's really cool if I did it. I... I have some work to do with my other not numbered reviews, but for the most part, it looks pretty good, so at least you can find stuff pretty easy. Anyways, guys, until our paths cross again in the next review, have a good one, everyone. Bye.